Firstly, let's cover what all of this information regarding the RTX 5060, 5070, 5080, and 5090 actually means because some of it is a little bit confusing. I'm not going to make you wait to see all of this information like everybody else is doing. I'm going to cover it at the very beginning of the video. Big surprise for a creator to do that, right? So let's go ahead and continue. What does TSMC's three nanometer bring to the table versus five nanometer? The latest three nanometer process technology is going to offer a 25 to 30% reduction in power. So in other words, people are not going to be complaining about their $2,000 graphics card consuming power. I'm just gonna toss this out there. It never made sense to me why people buying a graphics card that cost over two grand would complain about like $200 more per year. <laughs> I just don't get it. It just doesn't make sense to me. So there's gonna, <laughs> there's also gonna be a 10 to 15% addition to performance per transistor, a 42% reduction in area and density of 1.7 forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff so gpu what does this mean this refers to the actual graphics processing unit the heart of the actual graphics card this is something that people seem to get confused with graphics card the gpu is not the actual graphics card Graphics card is different from GPU, but we all call it a GPU for some reason. It's just simpler, I guess. So SMs, this this ugh, tongue twister. SMs, this refers to streaming multiprocessors, which are processors on the GPU that handle graphics processing tasks, which is a higher number of streaming multiprocessors generally that indicates better performance. Boost clock. What does this mean? The maximum clock speed that the GPU can actually achieve under ideal conditions. A higher clock speed obviously leads to better performance. Memory refers to the actual amount of graphics card memory used to store textures and other graphics data that the GPU needs in order to render images. More memory can allow for higher resolution textures and better performance. But keep this in mind, the technologies that Nvidia has been releasing with their artificial intelligence features there's not really uh like the 4060 is a good example of this there's a there's an eight gigabyte 4060 you look at the specs of this thing and you're like dude that thing is going to be absolute freshly pooed out dog turd on the ground but it's not it actually performs pretty well for what it is for when you see the specs you don't expect it to perform the way that it actually does so i'm just saying that the memory is sort of becoming less of a thing with AI becoming more of a thing. <laughs> but uh, so bandwidth, this is the rate at the which data can actually be transferred between the graphics card memory and the GPU. A higher bandwidth can lead to better performance. Cache, this is a type of high speed memory that is used to store frequently accessed data. A larger cache can improve performance by reducing the amount of data that needs to be transferred between the graphics card, memory, and the GPU. Performance, as a relative measure of how powerful the graphics card actually is, a higher performance rating indicates the graphics card is better at rendering images. The table shows that the RTX 5000 series graphics cards are built on a more advanced manufacturing process three nanometer versus five nanometer and have higher clock speeds, more memory and more bandwidth, which putting it all together leads to a better graphics card over the 4000 series. It's just common sense that that, that is going to happen. With that said, we do need to keep in mind, I've seen a lot of people talking about, mostly, do, mostly in comments of other creators that I watch, that the RTX 5090 is going to have less VRAM than the RTX 4090. So first of all, if that is the case, then okay, it sucks. But I don't think that Nvidia is stupid enough to do that. <laughs> Especially right now, like they have their, okay. So I've, I've said this multiple times in the past. Nvidia is not aiming their company at gamers anymore. Are their graphics card good for gaming still? 
Absolutely. Are their graphics cards better than AMD for gaming? Absolutely. Are they a better value than AMD? Absolutely not. Zero percent. AMD is the one focusing at gamers. If you are getting a graphics card to play games, AMD is the graphics card to get. They do not have drivers that are corrupted, buggy, cause everything to crash for the most part. If you're a creator, don't get AMD because you're Adobe. If you're using Adobe programs like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, lighting, all that stuff, then you're going to have somewhat of a problem with AMD graphics cards. Sometimes, not all of the time. To everybody about to go into attack, I don't even need to explain it because I said something sort of mean towards NVIDIA. So, like, I'm going to be attacked even though it was, like, literally nothing. It's just a fact, dude. Um, but, uh, anyways... So NVIDIA is not targeting their graphics card at gamers anymore, dude. They, it's very clear to me. It's very, look at their stock. Dude, they're more valuable than Amazon. They're more valuable than Microsoft right now. Like they're literally about to take over Apple. They're going to be the number one stock in the stock market. There's a reason that I've been covering this. And it is because, dude, since nvidia has been focusing more so on ai and business related tasks for their graphics card like their stock has gone through the roof and this all started with bitcoin the the bitcoin mining which led to this which led to that which led to this I do a whole documentary on this if that would actually that would actually be a really long time to make that video but i could literally do that so anyways there's those are the people that nvidia is targeting their company at right now they're not targeting their company at people that want to play call of duty at a high frame rate that's not what they're doing if it's not dude and this i say this with the utmost amount of respect this is not meant to be rude this is not meant to be disrespectful in the slightest amount so everybody that is going to take this out of context it is zero percent meant to be negative rude disrespectful in any shape or form at all okay but this is a fact man most gamers if this is not you then i'm not talking to you most gamers do not have the kind of money to buy a new graphics card every single time nvidia releases a graphics card okay again if you have all the money in the world bro i'm not talking to you I'm just pointing out the fact that most gamers don't have a lot of money. Again, dude, I'm just pointing something out. And I'm not saying, of course, yes, Elon Musk loves playing video games. I'm not talking about Elon Musk. I'm talking about the 90%. I'm not talking about the 10%. <laughs> so again, yes, I'm fully aware there's some gamers that are fully loaded and have a wallet full of cash. I'm not saying I'm not talking to you, but anyways, the reason that I had to just barely spend two minutes to make myself clear that I'm not trying to offend people for some reason that I have to do that using my channels as an example, if, if I'm making gaming videos on a gaming channel with nearly a hundred thousand subscribers and I'm only getting a hundred couple hundred views to me, that me that means, okay, my time is ended on this channel start a new one which i have done seven times now i've sold two i sold an ai channel a faceless ai channel because those are going to die out so it was all using ai all right so i sold that both of those channels had over a hundred uh, had over a hundred k and i made a lot of money with those and then the fifth channel for some reason was terminated it was a, my shorts channel for some reason it just got terminated didn't give a shit about it i don't like shorts i hate making shorts and because of that i just never started another shorts channel don't care don't like shorts i understand what it is doing to people's brain and because of that i just don't want to do it anymore so i just never made another shorts channel and now i have my four other channels i got my car channel i got my podcast i got my gaming channel and i got my pc channel so anyways, the reason I'm saying this, dude, is because my gaming channel died years ago and my ego got in my way. My ego. Oh, this is my biggest channel. Oh, I've grown this long. I put all this effort. I put all this time into this. I did this for so long. And now it's dead. 
And now I'm going to sit here and waste two years of my life trying to revive something that will never be revived. And I really regret trying to do that. So anyways, bro, NVIDIA is focusing their company at other types of people. Do and that doesn't mean that they're just going to give up with the gamers. Just like I'm not going to give up with my gaming channel. I'm going to continue uploading to it. Why would I stop? You, am I going to double dip? Absolutely. Why would I waste my time? Like, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Think about it. NVIDIA is also doing this in a different format. They're double dipping. They're graphics cards. They're focusing on AI, but they're still releasing their graphics card for gamers. Well, I got pretty much, I got off topic there, but uh, so anyways, let me really quickly just show you the other articles that I was going to share with you. Um, it's not, it was pretty much covering basically everything that we already talked about. But if you do want to go over to Hardware Times, they do have an article covering some more information is uh, over on the PC Gamer website, it just goes over the architecture, the process. Okay, yeah, you guys can see it. The uh, GB202 stuff, the RTX 5080, 70, 60, and then also the pricing. But yeah, it's the end of the video, guys. I know I've rambled on quite a bit here. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.